Yeah, so um last 15, 16 hours been basically we had practice yesterday. Um we had practice, and then we basically just traveled here, um, traveled, had um had a basically a bowl activity. We ate on a boat and we came back. And we had a little free time, you know. Uh, yeah, we got masks on. You know, we're trying to stay away. We're trying to stay safe from um, from this new this new variant out here. So for the most part, uh, we just stand around each other um, in the play lounge and just chilling on our free time. All right, next question is for Zach Klein. Go ahead, Zach. Hey, Nicobe, did you notice any pickup in the intensity, energy, uh, focus, whatever you want to call it, following the Alabama game compared to the way you were rolling during the regular season? Did you guys kind of need that, that, that hard reset and, and a snap back to reality? You know, I did. Uh, I did because kind of like uh, when we started by practicing, it was it was um, kind of like a camp style of practice uh, when, we, when we first started back. So it was kind of a, a new reset. Uh, of energy and focus, but um, I, I won't say that there was a, a fall off uh, even when even before we had played. So I feel like, you know, we just got to continue to work and continue to do what we do. Okay, next question is for Mark Schlebach. Go ahead, Mark. Good morning, Nick. I'll be, um... How much do you think you guys have to prove after the performance against Alabama that, that you were as good as people thought you were during the regular season? And what attributed to the uh, the blown coverages in the secondary that, that we, we didn't see during the regular season? I feel like we just got to work. We got to uh, trust the coach's game plan. And uh, we got to execute. We got to execute at a high level. And uh, um and as far as contribute to the, the blown coverages, it was just we didn't uh, we didn't have elite focus and um, elite execution. You know, we got to execute our job, do our one eleven every day. So it's like um, for the blown coverages and everything, it's like we just we just didn't have elite focus and elite uh, execution at play. And next question is for Steve Hummer. Yes, hey, N'Kobe. Um, what what do you think has been this uh, this defense is the most effective thing you've done in the last couple of weeks to to uh, to get reset from from uh, from the last game? Basically, reiterating uh, the opportunity that we got. For, I know for me, it's been telling the guys the type of opportunity that we got um, in the position that we're in. You know, it's a lot of. It's a lot of teams out there who are not in this position that we're in and got the opportunity that we have to do what we do. So basically, that's kind of been the refocus and the mindset that, um, you know, we got a lot, a huge opportunity to, uh, to do something that's never been done before in a, in a long time. All right, we're going to take two more questions here for Nicobe. Uh Next one goes to Jed May. Hey, Nicobe. Um, Coach Lanning got asked about him, so I want to ask you about Coach Schumann. Um, just what is is it like, or what is he like as a leader of this defense and a leader as the inside linebacker room, and just how have you seen him grow, you know, as a coach and a leader over your years in Athens? Yeah, uh, he's grown right along with me, you know, uh, as a coach. I feel like he's great. He's um, he, he's a, he works as hard as – if not hard as we work on the field, you know. So and he and he demands the best out of us, and and that was one of the reasons I came because I know he was gonna push me to to um, to be great, you know, not just be good, or be average, be mediocre. He was gonna push me to be great every day in and day out, and um, that's one of the re uh, big reasons that uh, you know I really respect him and um, you know grateful for him for that. All right, last question for Seth Emerson. Nicobe, is there any kind of danger in trying to fix what went wrong in the last game when the next opponent plays a different style and has different strengths and weaknesses the way Michigan and Alabama kind of contrast with each other? Well, you know, we do what we always do. You know, we uh, we went to the doctor. 
seeing what uh, hurt us, what we didn't do, how we didn't execute. Um, you know, we uh we worked on that, but at the same time, you know, we we on another opponent, so we on another opponent, so it's a new game plan, uh, new game plan, similar goal to uh, to win, but a new game plan, so we just gotta trust the plan and execute at high level.